Hi, I'm John. Um, some time ago I released a video that showed how to build this rocket that I had made for a special project and uh, it got well over 10,000 hits, but the video was silent. So I decided to remake the video with a lot better detail and actual explanation. So uh, I would like to show you now uh, how I built the rocket. In order to get measurements for the rocket, I created a layer in Photoshop with a yardstick. Knowing the size of the first tube, I scaled the yardstick until it was the proper size, and then I could measure all the other parts in the drawing. For many parts of this rocket, I used a material called sign vinyl, which is similar to electrical tape. For the first and second sections of the fuselage, I used heavy gauge cardboard tubes. I cut them to proper size and covered them with plastic banner material and used some white vinyl to tape it together. I also attached a guide ring to the top of the first tube to keep the second tube centered. Then it was time to make the skirting for the tapered parts of the rocket. In another Photoshop layer, I continued these two lines until they met at the top. Then I used the ruler to measure from the peak to the top of the skirt and the bottom of the skirt. The next step was to make these measurements on the poster paper, starting with the dot that represented the peak, and then another dot for the top of the skirt, and a third dot for the bottom of the skirt. Then I took a string with a loop in it and anchored the string at the first dot so that I could make an arc at the second dot and the third dot. Make sure the arcs are very big so that you can cut out enough material to loop back on itself to give it strength. It will stay rounder that way. The tapered parts are made of poster paper with a layer of banner material on them and decorated with sign vinyl. I attached supports on the tube where the first taper would go and then placed the tapered part over it. I did not glue the tapered part to the supports so it would not be distorted. Building the engine section involved two cardboard layers, applesauce cups, some poster paper cut and wound tight into tubes, and some heavy nylon twine to thread it all together. I covered it all with duct tape. Unfortunately, this part was not such a good representation of the actual rocket engine, but it worked for the model. The skirts that would be attached later would hide the inaccurate part of the engine assembly. The skirts all came from a circle of poster paper with a layer of silver and then a triangular section of white and black vinyl. Each skirt was only 76 degrees of the circle. I rounded the skirts by tightly dragging them over the edge of a table. After attaching the rocket engine assembly to the bottom of the rocket, I attached the skirts with strips of sign vinyl. The fins were double thick poster paper covered with silver sign vinyl. I attached them with silver vinyl and then hid the attaching vinyl with strips of black and white vinyl. The next tapered section was made like the first one but without the supports underneath. I extended the top tube made from rolled poster paper to set on the top of the second tube and I slid the tapered part over it. The nose cone was made of poster paper and a round piece of corrugated cardboard for the flat bottom. The tower was made with toothpicks thin strips of white vinyl, and an inverted golf tee. A transparent straw, long enough to go all the way through the capsule and clear up the tower to the bottom of the tee, was used to center and attach the capsule to the top of the rocket. The lettering was cut by computer at a sign shop. The flags were printed and laminated with extra wide cellophane tape. The rest of the decorations were hand cut. The pipe works on the outside of the rocket are drinking straws. After the rocket was finished, I made some props for the presentation. I made a two-part command module and a two-part lunar module and a couple of posters with information about the Apollo 11 mission. Now, normally the, the legs are folded up on the inside, more like that. I did the presentation for Vacation Bible School at my church. You can see the presentation at the link I will provide. If you would like to see some of the other projects I have done, check my YouTube channel in the Playlists section for the folder called Projects. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that this video was a lot more informative than the last one. 
Please check my channel for a lot more projects and a lot of other things that I do. Thanks for watching.